So kind of stepping back at why we developed a, a solution um, that, that we've deployed in, in, with many of our partners um, was really based on, as I said, the, the realization that in Maryland um, there was a lot of ADP connectivity already flowing through the health information exchange there, but not being used uh, for much by way of an actual service. It was being used to build out, again, that kind of cross-facility, unique patient identity then kind of building towards other services like Query. Um, we had a few providers approach us and ask us about enabling a notification service. And when we evaluated how um, that would have been done with the current technology in place, it was a lot like a lab result. The ADT would flow and the, the HIE technology it hit would look at the provider of record segment. Um, and then it would match that up to a provider directory operated by the HIE and trigger that an outbound. And that had some fundamental flaws in it, primarily based on that workflow, that attribution process. Essentially, the patient attributing themselves to a provider at the point of registration. So if you just kind of step back and think through that, the way the notification would effectively route to the right place was premised on the patient having and accurately communicating who their doctor is to the registrar, who then had that doctor in a local provider directory there at the hospital and some communication pathway, either directly or through some sort of health information exchange like technology to, to, to actually notify them. And when we talked to some large health systems, we found that that was really only effectively occurring within a reasonable time frame about 20% of the time. Um, so an exceedingly low uh, hit rate for effectively getting notifications out the door. And so we kind of turned this around. We said, well, what if you go to the, the practices in the community and ask them to attribute themselves to their patients? So instead of patient attributing themselves to provider at the point of care, provider attributing themselves to their patients in advance. And there are important policy frameworks that, uh, that we support our customers with and that our customers have deployed on their own that, that accompany um, this type of service. Uh, but the fundamental concept here was let's go back to that PID segment we showed instead of the provider of record and let's use master patient indexing technology to compare the patient in the real-time message to each of these lists that have been uh, preloaded or auto-created uh, within the notification service. And when a match occurs, we'll trigger that outbound alert based on preferences that, that Rob will describe in a little more uh, depth. So that's the, fundamental, that's the fundamental and really important distinction that we want to make sure you all are, kind of, are, are seeing here, that we're not relying on the provider of record when, when notifying a PCP. We're not relying on the insurance segment when trying to notify a carrier we're relying on patient identity and the comparison between the patient identity and the real-time message that's coming through, the real-time ADT, to the patient identity in each list. 